A legislative session has less than two weeks until it's all over and the process of passing bills still picking up the pace. Yeah, but Governor Hogan and Comptroller Francho are not happy with a bill that takes away a big responsibility of the Public Works Board, a board that they both sit on. ABC 2's Don Harrison was in Annapolis today. Organization. The Board of Public Works meeting was held today, but Governor Hogan and Comptroller Peter Francho had more on their mind than how to spend the state's money. They are worried some of those responsibilities may be taken away from them. To strip the authority from this fiscal body. And the legislature is trying to push a bill to take decisions about school construction spending away from the board. A bill has already passed the House without a public hearing and is in the Senate to remove one of the main functions the board oversees. Legislators would like to have a panel elected by the Senate president and the House speaker. The governor would also have input to the committee. The current interagency committee of school construction, which has input on school projects, would be reworked to have the final say. The governor questioned the transparency of the new committee. To an unelected, unaccountable group uh, of hand-picked lobbyists, political donors, and people with conflicts of interest in the school system. Delegate Maggie McIntosh, who spearheaded the bill in the House, said this committee that meets at the State Board of Education would be transparent. They have actually uh, are in the process, almost complete wiring and uh, putting cameras up uh, so that the State Board of Education can be completely transparent so you can watch it online. Comptroller Peter Francho had even harsher words about the testimony of Delegate McIntosh to the bill. Let me just say very clearly, it was a lie told to my former colleagues down on the floor. I don't lie. I just don't lie. Some legislators have questioned the methods used by the governor and the comptroller to withhold funding to force some school systems to spend their own money to fix problems. That includes providing adequate heat and air conditioning that caused some schools to close during cold spells and heat waves. The fact that the legislature would choose now to corrupt a process that has worked effectively and delivered transparency, accountability, and oversight on these expenditures for 50 years is simply outrageous. They should all be the proud. Senate is hearing the bill now. The governor says he would veto the bill if it passes. In Annapolis, Don Harrison, ABC2 News.